All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Schneider's Golf. Today is a very special day, but it's kind of a somber day as well. I am going to show you the footage of me going up to Logan and getting the HTC 400, which you can probably see sitting here. When I was editing the original edit of this video, my hard drive got corrupted, my external hard drive that I used to put my videos on. I thought I was completely out of luck because I couldn't find any of the files and I thought, man, this is terrible because out of all the videos I've made, this was probably one of the cooler videos, like going and rigging this thing and bringing it home and getting it in the shop here with a gigantic forklift. And I was so, so heartbroken that this footage got lost. But I ended up downloading some software that's like hard drive recovery software. And I was able to recover probably about half of the footage. Some of the files were corrupted. They just came through and they were pixely and uh, you couldn't tell what was going on. But I got about half of the footage from the Logan trip. I'm going to show you that now. And when we're done, I'll give you a little walk around. I'm going to go out and I'm going to show you the grass where the forklift was at. Some of that footage got wrecked. The forklift didn't really ruin the grass that much. It was pretty non-invasive. That was a huge win. We got the mill in here barely, like it barely fit through the door. But enjoy the rigging video and we'll do a walk around as soon as it's over. It's uh, time to go and get the forklift. Oh man, I'm a little behind schedule. So I'm gonna have to book it. All right, I'm currently on my way to the forklift place. We're gonna meet my friend who owns a tow truck company. Thank you, Zach's Towing. We're taking two tow trucks up, one empty tow truck and one tow truck with forklift on it. We're gonna load the mill on the empty tow truck and then bring both tow trucks back, unload the mill and send the tow trucks back. Here we are. One of those forklifts is ours. Oh man. Well, Zach's guys were already at the forklift place and they picked the forklift up and they're on their way to Logan already. So I'm chasing them up there. And I don't know how fast those tow trucks can go, but I think they're about 10 minutes in front of me. So we'll see if we can catch them. We'll probably be getting there about the same time. Uh, or maybe they'll be there 10 minutes before me. Hopefully we can catch them. That'd be kind of fun to catch them. Look what we found. Our forklift. Right there, trundling its way up the mountain. They gotta go slow. She's a heavy girl. Got a flatbed. We got a big flatbed truck here, and there's our forklift. Little run around of this forklift. It's huge, nice for 210. Let me show you the controls quick. Whoa! So you've got a gas pedal, parking brake, a couple of switches here. This is what it looks like from the inside. And we're gonna go and we're gonna fork our Mazak out of there. And then we're gonna load it onto the back. And we're gonna load it on the back of Zach's truck and head back to Ogden. This is crazy! Look at this, wild. I've never moved anything this big before. The mill is on the truck, the forklift is on the other truck, and we are headed back down to West Point to unload this into the shop. I'm hoping that the ground is still frozen by the time we got there. We're a little bit behind schedule-wise, but we should be okay. I'm hoping that the bigger forklift is going to spread the weight out a little more evenly than the smaller forklift would have. I guess we'll see what 40,000 pounds worth of machinery on the grass looks like. 
Could be bad, could be all right, we'll see. All right, shop's empty, chip tank's out of the way, forklift is ready. Let's move this into the shop. is going to be if we are going to mess the grass up or not. Fingers crossed we don't. Okay, wasn't that neat? What a crazy day. Getting that huge mill inside my tiny little shop here. I'm going to show you the grass really quick. You might be able to see some of these ruts here. We've gotten some snow since, so it kind of covered up the path that the forklift came in on. But nothing too crazy. You can tell the grass maybe. We had a little skid mark here. There was some parts back here where the forklift was turning on the grass. But it really didn't do very much. This is a good angle here. You can kind of see these forklift marks here. But it didn't really ruin the grass, which was awesome. It was still kind of frozen when we brought it in. All right, are you ready? This is the HTC 400 Mazak. So a horizontal milling center has the spindle turned on its side and it works on these pallets here. And these pallets can be indexed 360 degrees on the degree. So you can move it around. The tool changer is a big wheel that's back behind this door that opens and closes. Lots of coolant nozzles inside of here. Crazy amounts of coolant. Uh, if you remember from the chip conveyor video, there's three coolant pumps on here. So this thing cascades a ton of coolant and that forces chips out of the side and down into the chip conveyor. Has a Mazatrol 640M Fusion PC controller, TBD on this thing. I don't know if I'm gonna keep it. This might be getting a Linux CNC retrofit. I will tell you more about that later on. We have a tombstone here, which is mounted, which is really cool. Thank you, Kurt Workholding. They hooked me up with these soft jaws so that I can machine them and get this all back to kind of spec of where it was at at the factory. These are just some blinks they sent me, but I can pull the dimensions off here and make some new soft jaws. And what's really cool about these is they can be flipped four directions and then you have these little mini vices. So there's four little mini vices on each tombstone which is a lot of work surface for me. I'll be able to put a lot of repair tools or whatever. Uh, these are all little mini dual vices, which is awesome. A lot of work holding here on this tombstone. And I got two of these, which is really cool. A little look inside the cabinet here. You golf guys will probably be bored, but you machining guys will uh, love this. We got all our contactors and snubbers here. We've got the drive parameters control. Now one thing that's cool about Mazak drives, or these Mitsubishi drives, is there's only one control line and it daisy chains through the drives. It's called SSC net. And so just one control signal controls all of the drives, which is pretty crazy. I've never heard of anything like that before. I had started kind of researching how SSC net works. So we will see if we use this. This might be a retrofit project to be determined. So you have your X axis here, Y moves up and down in a horizontal, and then Z comes in and out this way in a horizontal. So it's kind of crazy. Uh, it's easy to flip up the axes. That's about it. I want to get it on some skates. I want to get it moved in here where I had it in the beginning of the video. Uh, it's a lot heavier and harder to move than I had anticipated. Like it's, it's a beast. It's so heavy. That 21,000 pound forklift had a, had a hard time moving this. So good rule of thumb. If you're going to move machinery, you need to get a forklift. That's about a third heavier than the load that you're moving because we have the back wheels of that Heister 210 off the ground, which is pure insanity. 
because this is a 15,800 pound mill and we had a 21,000 pound forklift. A third heavier if you're gonna rig your own stuff. Don't make my mistake and get a forklift that is barely the same weight as your mill. It will not work. I'm excited about this machine. I'm a little bit bummed. I don't know if it's as workable as I thought it was when I got it, but we'll see. We'll see what happens with it. It's got a ton of potential. All of the mechanical stuff seems to be in really good shape. The ball screws feel good and everything, so we'll see. We will see. This project doesn't seem quite as daunting as it would have been had I not done the aero retrofit. We'll see what happens with it. I guess if it doesn't work, I'll get some sweet scrap money at the scrapyard for it. Thanks for being here. Hope you're doing well. Hope you enjoyed your holiday. Happy New Year. And I will see you next time. Get out and play some golf. Take care. <laughs>